It goes like this. Who's that digging around in your trash? Who's that guy selling human organs for cash? It's the Mark Bentley Show. 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 The Mark Bentley Show. Have a drink and then we'll have ourselves some blow. <laughs> thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go in alphabetical order. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. All right. <laughs> or num numerical order and uh, fucking Dewey Decimal and shit. All right. Well, um, as part of the Mark Bentley Show uh, tradition, I have uh, most of my jokes around a theme. Uh, this week's theme is nervousness. Nervousness. Uh, it's Thanksgiving, you know, uh, Thanksgiving's coming up, at, uh, black, you know, Thanksgiving, we're with our families, um, and it's the season of uh, domestic disputes. Um, and one, one, thing, one thing I just have to mention, one elephant here, uh, week after week, I, it is uh, brought to my attention that I'm like considered the nervous comedian, that I just... That I'm nervous and that I make other people nervous by me being nervous. And that that makes me nervous. Um, so I just, I just, I sincerely want to say, uh, stop it. Stop being so nervous. Fucking stop it. I'm serious. Fucking stop being so nervous. You're making me nervous. I mean, you're not the one up here telling jokes, man. You... You think you're better than me? I fucking demand the respect that a comedian should get, and nervousness is not what I'm trying to inspire in everybody. It is the exact opposite, and you're fucking running it. Why are you running this? Why are you running? I do this for you as a civic duty. How could you? Go to commercial! Just fucking go to commercial! <laughs> Hi, I'm a comedy uh, personality and Mark Benton. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, again, with the Dewey Decimal. All right. Um, but, I, but I have a, an amazing... You know, people... Some, some people have been talking about... Um, brought to my attention the idea that... Um, Tossing salads is bad? Well, well, and I think this is a very divisive issue. And uh, my friends at uh, Tossin's, Tossin's Salad Dressing, have, um, have, have a product for you guys. It, um, it's, it's Tossin's Salad Dressing. It's for your asshole. It's flavored lube. Well, it's kind of sticky. It comes in a variety of flavors. It comes in ranch, blue cheese, honey mustard, and barbecue. Why the fuck not? <laughs> we, we won't judge you, you sick son of a bitch. If you want to be the king of the booty castle, get the salad dressing for that asshole. Toss in the salad dressing. <laughs> And we're back. I'm sorry for that little outburst. I apologize. I have I have a story for you guys. This is you know it's it's a true story. It's a mostly true story. Um, you, and it, thank you. That that adds to the fact. Let's let's bust all these. Everybody, grab a fucking balloon and bust that shit. Break some shit! Woo! <laughs> no, don't break some shit. This is a bar. This is a bar. No, no, I don't want to be liable for anything. Let's not riot. Stop rioting. No, no, please don't arrest me. Alright. I'm actually probably doing the least amount of illegal shit in this vicinity. Um, unless I kill in my comedy act. Hey! Hello! <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, um, but I have, like, mostly true, well, I have a true story, 
I work at a uh, retail. I, I work in a retail store that that um, you know everybody's heard of it, but I don't want to mention it because I'll probably this will somehow get around to everybody and I'll get fired. So I work in a retail store. I work in the garden center of a retail store where there's a fucking patio and there's an outside section of this shit. And for the past couple of days, there's a hawk. H A W K hawk. Not like I'm fucking hawking or looting. A fucking a chicken hawk kind of hawk. Like Pat Buchanan? Like, no, it's more like a carnivorous bird. Ornithologists would be would be astounded at this uh, hawk. And so, so like this morning, I wanted to see this hawk. The customer brought my attention, so I walked up to the fucking hawk. And I'm going to try to see, hey, there's a hawk! It looks fucking cool! Not many people get to walk up to a fucking hawk. And what happens is I walk up to the fucking hawk, and then the hawk flies into the fucking retail uh, building that has food and, like, merchandise and customers and shit. This really happened. And... Like, so, so I'm feeling fucking guilty, and I have to be, I have to be the one that's like, there's a hawk in the door. H A W K. there's a hawk in the door. And, yeah, it's kind of one of those smelted delta kind of things, because that's the first one. I, you know, I, I drove the hawk inside the building, I'm fucking responsible for this shit. So, so I'm, I'm the one fucking chasing the hawk around. The hawk fucking dive, dive bombs like a foot away from me. And I can see it's fucking like night sword-like beak and razor sharp talons coming like a foot from my face. And the proper the proper procedure for getting rid of birds, let alone a fucking hawk that flies inside the building, is to take a fit is to take a 15 foot long pole and fucking like wave it into one of the open skylines. And I'm fucking scared, so I grab my fucking jacket as like kind of a net. So there I am, I have like a 15 foot pole in one hand and a fucking like a jacket gladiatorial net in the other hand looking like a fucking retarded ass Spartacus <laughs> doing battle with a hawk. <laughs> And, like, I'm, I'm like, you know, the customers are screaming and shit, and I'm like, ah! Sorry, sorry, ah! Sorry, like, hearing on fucking radio chatter, there's a hawk in the building, oh my fucking god! And I'm, I'm a retard falling around a 15 foot pole trying to get it to go into this fucking skylight that's opened up. And it went out, and that was my day. And uh, that story was much funnier than I had because it actually really happened. All right. Well, uh, it seems that um, it seems that my time is about up for the Mark Bentley show uh, tonight. I would like to thank all oh, the fucking talkers in the back. It added audience to an otherwise dull show. Um. And as always, Copper Top, if you haven't learned anything yet, then just know that I love you, Copper Top. I love you sexually. Good night. The Mark Bentley Show, everybody! Yeah! Yeah. Copper Top, how you doing?